Hiyo. Morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever the fluff you are. Now then, this one is just going to be something which has come up for me personally over the weekend and has been rolling on for the past couple of years. This one is basically just going to be, well, you know, people who you may have known in the past that have had a crush on you, people that you are in a relationship with, family members, possible relationships, things like that. Now, just to, I'm not going to go into great detail with things, but, you know, um, someone who I went to college with, who at the time had a crush on me and we kind of had a bit of a sort of like, will we, won't we, sort of like friends with benefits sort of thing. We basically, we slept together years ago. Um, nothing really came of it. We were just friends and it was just to see how it is. And now over time, he's popped up. Find me through some of my videos on this channel and my previous channel and uh, other stuff through how I stream on Twitch. You know, so, you know, they basically messaged me and just said, hey, what's going on? So we had a quick chat. And over that time, basically just said, yeah, it was kind of like, you know, that they wanted to push it on a step further, but they didn't want to say anything to me. Um, more it was the reality of just because I'm a furry, they wanted to know what furries were and how the fandom works and all of the yada yada yada. Yeah, if you can hear some um, noise from outside, there's a guy across the road that does repairs on cars. So, just as I was setting all this stuff up, he's decided that he wants to start grinding. <sighs> but hey, but so he was like, yeah, okay, we want to push this relationship on. I wanted to push the relationship on. I didn't personally, he did. Uh, and then now he's just going, yeah, but now because of what you're doing, um, no, um, sorry, I don't want to know you. And this person's gay, by the way. So they're already within the LGBTQA plus, yada, yada, yada. There's too many words there for me. And yes, do this, that one there and I do have the flag on the back of the chair, you know. But, you know, so he was like, yeah, but I don't, I don't particularly want to know and I kind of don't accept what you're doing. And to be honest, I think you're making a mistake. Okay. Okay. And once he said that, I just went, yeah, but when we had that one time together, you technically called me by my female persona you picked me up because you were intrigued by her even though you're gay you were intrigued by her you were intrigued by a vixen a female fox not the male side the female side so his reaction was basically he just lost it and started being an a-hole so I just went yeah okay whatever thing is I'm still who I was back then because I'm still the same character I'm still the same person it's just the shell and I am becoming the female that I was meant to be you picked me up because of a female character not because of a male character but hey it's the same thing when you get with someone and you're chatting with someone and they don't know and then you tell them before it gets serious or just to, to clear it out and they just go yeah, okay, but I don't know. You look better like that, you know. I think you're still cute as a male. I like you as a guy. I don't, you know. That's their problem, not yours. Don't listen. Don't listen to Neggy Nigel. Don't need no Neggy Nigels. It's the same with family members that pull this one. I know you better than you know yourself. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, you don't. You yourself are the one that lives with your own self your own mind your own brain your own psychology your own character you know yourself better than anybody else knows you a family member that says that is just trying to garner some form of response and try to make you and try to push you into the thing of going yeah you know what uh you're right 
I am making a mistake. Uh. No, don't listen to them. They just want to try to push you into doing what they want you to do because they cannot control their own life because they know they made a mistake somewhere along the lines. So they are trying to push you into what they want you to do, even if it is going to cause more chaos. So carry on with the path that you are going down. Carry on with your transition and don't listen to the Neggy Nigel. And that goes for male or female sides. Don't listen to Neggy Nigel because you can have an auntie or a mum or a grandparent who is a Neggy Nigel. Neggy Nigella, so to speak. But, you know, don't listen to the negativity. Don't give in. You know yourself better than anybody else. My argument to a family member who pulled that I know you better than you know yourself was, okay, so if you know me better, then you would know when I had this problem, when I did this, when I did that, when I had to sacrifice my own future at the time for a partner. When I almost put myself into hospital, helping an elderly person who had collapsed and had a heart attack and I did not know had actually died, but I pushed myself beyond where I was supposed to go. You know, they would, you would not, you would know when I was admitted to hospital for this, when I had this particular tooth removed, when I went to this particular blood clinic. Because when they say that they know you better, they know nothing. They're grasping. So you can either do that or you could even argue like I did when she kicked back again. And I just went, okay, so who's the one that cheated on their husband with that? Who's the one whose last or, you know, whose youngest daughter isn't even related to anybody else? The only one is you. You know, when you even know this specific person that they cheated with, because you've seen them a hundred times at family Christmases, and all sorts of other family gatherings, and they're always there being that creepy dude in the back corner. The guy that you just want to knock out, because he's such a perv. But, you know, just rise above it. I'm going to have to use that thing from Lewis Hamilton. Rise above it. Just rise above it. You carry on with your path. And you carry on. Because your wings are stronger than theirs will ever be. You are stronger than they will ever be. You are a better person than they will ever be. Don't let the Neggy Nigels and Neggy Nigellas kick you in the teeth. Sometimes you might have to kick, kick them in the teeth with words. Sometimes you might have to scream, shout, rant, get loud, get noticed. Sometimes you might have to let get out of your comfort zone and do something else. But, you know, I really don't understand why people have to do that whole thing of you making a mistake. You're better the way you are. Don't do it. You know... Years of holding yourself back, as I know, because I did 10 years or so of holding myself back from where I should have been. I've been there and I regret holding myself back and I regret not taking that step. But where I am now and what I learned during that time period has made me a better person, has made me a stronger person. It's made me be able to look at things totally differently and think, Maybe now, because I know bit better and I know things differently, I can push on and I can actually smack it head on. To use a rugby analogy, I can punt it all the way and I can pick it up and I can slam it in for a try. I can pooch it from the corner and get it in for a conversion. You know, I am stronger than people would ever believe and it's not all about the physical strength, it's what's up here. Yeah, I can't bench like I used to be able to because I know I lost that a long time ago. 
but I never was really I was never a muscle monster I wasn't interested in that now I'm just a tub I've got a bit of a gut you know the old family DNA is kicking in and I'm over 30 it's what happens in this family you get a belly I don't really care I'm becoming what I was meant to be and how I feel comfortable Don't regress. Don't walk back. Don't listen to Meggy Nigel and Meggy Nigella. Just, if you have to, give them the hand, push them out, and lock them off. Because I've done it. That same person that was giving it, giving it the old yap, 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 has now gone slap, slap, slap. They've gone bye bye. They can't find me, and they'll never be able to find me. Because they don't have the guts. To be able to try to find me. Because they know they'll just get told to piss off. Or if they just stand there. They'll just get removed. You know. Just don't ever listen to them. And don't ever give in. You are perfect as you are. You are you. The only you. The authentic you. Now carry on. And have a fluff. Fantastic day. Peace.